they understand pressure and I don't think we um, are fierce by it. We came in, there's a, you know, you know, a few people have knocks and stuff because some of them are in season, so we expect, we expect that. And, um, you know, we came out and we're lively and, and I think, I think the girls just ready to pick up the challenge and go again. We show up here for it to be competitive, obviously. Um, you know, we want to. It's two different tournaments the World Cup and this, so what we want to carry over. Some of the stuff that happens in the World Cup and hopefully we can apply it here and just have a continuity of football and uh, take it to another level. We can watch the result of Canada because they're the defending champion of here. There's a reason why they don't win it because Canada has always been in the top four, four five or top to, you know, in the world. So going to a World Cup and didn't perform well, you know, actually votes well for them because there's some players, you know, like a Lawrence and a Flemings and a few players who weren't at the World Cup and they are, you know, starters and big time players for Canada. You know, they will come and they actually um, will give a good account for themselves. We have to just match it and just say, you know, okay, we can't think about now what happened over a year ago. You know, we, you know, we, we are trying to progress and trying to make sure that whatever they do, you know, we can, we can do just as well or even better. Reggae girls will be all in pressure from day one, every way them go. I mean, it's always, you know, with all the stuff that they go through. They understand pressure, and I don't think we um, are faced by it. You know, we're just going to go out and um, I know the effort is going to be there. So if the effort is there and, you know, and we get a good result, that's great. If the effort is there and the result is not what we wanted, we can say the effort is there and we have to just say, you know what, but we're trying to get a result in the game. Obviously, Bunny Shaw is the first name that speak, people speak about, but who do you think will be some of the other key players to, to help the Jamaica team tomorrow night? I think the starting 11 and I think the people coming off the bench. Anybody who enter this game has to be key. If your name is Carl, you better be ready. Okay? And you can, I mean, it's not like we Bunny Shaw is going to be the only one out there playing. Okay? So you can just read through the lines and just see the teams that we have been starting over the last three, four games. It's a lot of those players will be, I won't even call one name or anything. They're all going to be called upon to perform, including the coaches. Okay? The first line of thing is, is me and, my, and our staff, and then the players and everybody. So all of us have to perform. The second leg in Canada is already sold out. What do we have to do here to get this game sold out? Listen, man, I mean, I mean, you know, what we need to ask, ask, ask in Jamaica, are we a lover of football or are we a football country? And I think we love football and like talk about it. Okay? When was the last time we see a football game or anything sold out in the stadium except champs? Not really. So I mean we love sports, but I mean it used to be sold out. I used to play schoolboy football and I watched Jamaica play the other day and I played in the stadium with KC. And we have twice the amount of crowd back in the days when I played the KC inside the stadium. So again, the population has changed. I don't know if we're priced out of it, some of the people. And I, and, I, and I worry about that. I'd rather get people in the stadium at a lower price and fill it up and we come and have some enjoyment. But I think we have, there, we have to find a way down here to get people back into the stadium. I don't know if the environment around it or whatever it is, but it's not like it used to be. And I see it and <laughs> I have been through it because I have been here for a long time and nobody wants to talk about the past when it comes to attendance. It's, it's poor. I know you just did a walkthrough of the stadium field. There has been concern. Coach Hal Grimson rose it when the reggae boys were playing. What was your assessment just now? I mean, the ice man, as I call him, you know, he doesn't have to say it. It's, it, it's, in, it's not in the greatest shape, and I'm sure other people will come out and say it, you know. So, you know I'm, I'm sure we will hear about it, but it's, 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 sub, it's subpar, so we have to just make the adjustment and get used to it.